When I look at my own growth and my own learning from a spiritual, emotional standpoint, I really feel that EHF has really held space for us as fellows to really go back to our own narrative, history, roots, traditions from a really, really deep level of like ancestry to whakapapa and genealogy. And these things have really risen in our consciousness to help us really understand like who we are, where we come from. And it's really so like powerful, right? Because these are conversations we don't necessarily have back at home. Mm. And with Maori and with some of the leaders like Pakaira, Tamaho, Papiana in the space who have really helped us to unpack, we've really begun to understand ourselves and our own history mm. so poignantly and powerfully. And it's been such a gift. And I think above all as well, um, the friendships and relationships and the whānau and the family we've made here, we know that these are bonds and ties that would take us through life. I was reflecting this morning just as we were sitting in the room across. Um, so the family, actually the honouring, honouring family, honouring those around us and those who are with us and those who are not with us. I think that's been a very powerful journey for both of us in understanding our family history, our, our roots as uh, Chinese people in Singapore, immigrants to Singapore as well. I think that those roots and that, that feeling and honouring has been one of the big things that have, has come up from EHF. And then actually honouring the connections that we have here, the family that we have here. That is a big part of that journey as well.